Hi, I'm George Twill. And I'm Kyle Schickner, and welcome to another episode of What's, What's Up, up with, with the Mendums? Uh, so, it's been a while. We've had a couple shows, uh, each going solo. You doing yeah. your own thing. Right, right. I doing my own thing. We're sort of exploring the world outside and realizing that we belong together. Uh, I'm not too <laughs> sure about that, but, uh, you know, we got to work on your dress code, but oh, that's okay. Listen, this, at least it's iron it's, this time. The other one I had on was... Uh, so, anyway, so, uh, so this is a show that sort of talks about the Mendums. I am... Fairly new to the t to the town, just a couple years, and George has been, been here, here twenty three years, twenty four years. Uh, so we sort of bring us two together, and sort of because uh, I'm moving here, it's a different world. It's a little different than from Los Angeles, where I moved from. Yeah, Los Angeles, right? So I find myself always saying, hey, "Do they have those tar pits in Los Angeles?" They still? do. Well, what, they, what exactly is that like? It's it's actually kind of boring because everyone wants to go there when they come visit. Let's go to the tar pits, but it's just it's it's like a park. And you walk around, and there's like places where there's bubbling tar pits, and there's some 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 it'll come through a little bit through the sidewalk. Really? But then they have other things where it's where it's. Is it near the? Is it in the? It's city? right in the city. It's right on Wilshire, wow. right on Wilshire Boulevard. And then they've got other places where there's big where it's bubbling into some water, and then they like they have these fake mastodons and other um, like. So it's like a like a kid uh, kid place. Yeah, but it's it's boring because then there's like a museum about like you know what it is okay. and you know but it's interesting. I mean yeah. it's it's neat. But uh, it's, you know... We don't have anything like that in Mendham. We don't have any tar pits in Mendham. We don't. Um, so I find myself driving around oftentimes saying, what's up with the Mendhams? So George is here to sort of walk me through it. Okay. All so, okay, so here's, I have a so question, What George. do you got? What it's October. We're getting it close is October. To, we're getting close to the election. So I have a question. Wait, we're getting close to Halloween. And the election. Forget about the election. Well, they're really both the same thing. They're both kind of, it is you know... Be a uh, um, so here's my question. So yeah. Mendham obviously is a very conservatively political town, correct? I would say so. Has it always been that way? When you first came here, or has it slowly... No, as far as I know, it's always been, uh, you know, pretty conservative. Yeah. I think, uh, I think mostly Republican-based. Right, right. You know? Has there always, has there ever been a Democrat uh, mayor, or... You know what, uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Well, you're the guy that's here, so it's, it's what's up with the bed up with Kyle and Shores. Not what's Where's up with the my phone? Up? Let's call. Um, you know, I think it's, uh, I think uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That's a firm uh, but, maybe but on that, so. I don't really know. I guess we could always do you want me to get? Do you want me to look it up on no, Google? Right no, no, I could Google it. I thought you would know. Cause, no, you I know. don't know. I think, uh, no. But so it's always been fairly conservative. Yeah. See, I'm not conservative, and I'm not going to get into a political thing with you, but what I find interesting. You aren't, really. I am not conservative. Um. And what I find interesting is that I've been So here. who are you voting for? Uh, I think it's obvious. Well, I might, uh, you know, your vote's not going to count then. Well, because <laughs> cause we, we, they, we they throw them out. Well, actually, you, it probably will count because it's, you know, going to be working against other people. See, but, you know, it's interesting. So that, that actually brings up a good point. Because, cause, okay, so when I had the primaries in June, now I voted in the primaries. Yeah. And here's what's interesting. It's I, often I feel like I'm the only... The only one in town that's not conservative. And, and, and it's just a perception. I'm not saying that's true. Right. And that's a perception. So there's a feeling of like often like I get um, quiet or nervous or I don't want to get too into it. You don't it. want to open your mouth. I don't want to open my mouth because, you know, they're, I, I have But neighbors. you're going to go on Mendham television and talk about This is this. the point of it. No, that's exactly this is okay. the point. So I have neighbors. I've got, you know, there's, there's other parents with my kids I go to school. I can see school. those people tearing those checks up now. Well, they're about to give a big donation to yeah, Mendham TV. They're tearing them up. So here's the thing. So anyway, so I went to the primaries in June. Right. Remember the primaries? And, and by that point, both uh, Trump and Clinton were already, already in. But, you right. know, it was, I still went to vote. Um, and so do you vote in most? Uh, I vote in every election. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. Um, even when it doesn't matter. I mean, oftentimes, like, look, I was in L.A. It's a very, very liberal t area. Yeah. But so, you know, it was almost a, a, a foregone conclusion. But I would always vote because... But, yeah, you take it seriously. Because it's, it's not... It's, people don't can't vote all around the world. I, I mean, it's, it's a huge yeah. privilege. And I think it's, I, I, it's, I it blows my mind... That people don't use their vote. Blows my mind. Even, you know, again, it just, you know, even if you're just exercising the, one of the amazing things about this country... To be able to say, "Hey, this is who I want That's right. to, to to run to run the yeah. country." So anyway, so yes, I will. And I went to the primaries, even though it didn't matter. Right. Uh, but I went, and you know, it's different all over the country. So here, it's interesting. So you get there, and it's at the, it was at the fire station. 
I'm in the borough. Okay. So it was at the fire station. I went there and went through with my partner. And you get there, and there's other people, and there's neighbors, and you know it. So they're like, and they ask you, Democrat or Republican, because you've got to vote for one or the other for the primary. Right. So now... They don't ask you what street you live on? Well, they, 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 they I, I didn't just get, yes, they give you the whole ID and the I street. I remember they asked me if I was Democrat or Republican. Because you, I can't, you can't vote in the Democrat. If, if you are a Republican, you can't vote in the Democratic primary. Okay. It's, and vice versa, right. just because then I could go and vote right. for, right. you know, someone I, I didn't want. Right. If I was afraid of somebody, right. you know, you vote for someone opposite. But anyway, that's not the point. I digress. You might make me digress. Okay. So, digress. you go there, so they say, okay, so Democrat or Republican. And so there's people behind me, and it's like, okay, well, now I'm having to come out. So I'm like, oh, Democrat. Democrat. It's kind of, right. And then there's, like, you know, so I'm like, Democrat. And so they give you a little Democrat. colored, they give you a colored, sh like, a piece of paper. And they Democrat. go over to the person, and you got it. And, and here's what I found interesting, and this is the point of all this, is they, that. They sent you packing. They said, you're in the wrong town. You got to go. Gotta no. Go, yeah. no, no, no. So there was, so, so, they, so you take the yellow, yellow or red sheet. I'm not sure which color. I think right. it was yellow. And you give it to the person at the. At the where you go right, into the booth, right? And they poke it through, and they put it with all everyone else who voted. And here's what so shocked me. So what did you find? I, what do you think? Like I you were the only one that was. No, it's what I thought. There were a ton of other yellows. Really? And that's what my point was: is that here I'm thinking I'm alone in this. And again, I'm not look. I'm not. This isn't like a civil rights thing. Like poor Kyle, you know. Right. But I'm just saying. Like I, I felt I was. You know, our family was the only sort of. And I'm like, oh my Never, god, look at all these not. yellow. Cards. So it's like that. I found it interesting. Okay. You know what so I'm you saying? Feel better now. Well, I do feel better. And then, so so mm -hmm. then, fast forward a few months later. Okay. And the, the election's coming up, and I'm seeing all these signs. I'm like, you know what? I want to get a sign supporting my candidate to put in the house. All right. And there was a concern. I'm thinking like Robertson. Is that his name? <laughs> who, who's the the who's the who's the guy who couldn't think of any uh, who's the, who couldn't think of any world leader? Robertson. No, it's not Robertson. Anyway, right. see. Needless to say, we're not running for president, so we don't you need to. You know where Aleppo is? Just do you know where Aleppo is? What's Aleppo? <laughs> so anyway, so I, I'm like, okay, you know what? So like, we decided let's put a sign up you know for our Aleppo candidate. Is, I know where Aleppo is. Okay. I, I want to put a it's sign up. Very dear to my heart. Do you know where Aleppo is? I certainly do. Have That's, you been to Aleppo? My grandfather was from Aleppo. No, is that true? Absolutely. So grandfather, when he... grandmother, my uh, my oldest uncle and two aunts, and then the rest of the family were. Do you were still have family? Summit Aleppo. Aleppo to summit. Yeah. Any more? Any family in Aleppo? Uh, oh no, you don't have any. There's probably nobody there. Oh, there's somebody there. Yeah. In but about another 12? three weeks, there won't be anything there. So, <laughs> were, uh, were you at twelve? Were they twelve? Well, that was about? some other, you know. Twelve octets. Yeah, Halloween or something like that. Okay. So anyway, anyway so, so I want that, to put a sign up. It's interesting that that guy asked that question. And, and you were like, "Hey, I didn't know where it was. I knew where it was." Now, would that? Now, let me ask you this: If you were, that would be a problem. Would you not vote for that man because he didn't know where Aleppo was? Absolutely. Now, is it because your family's there or that he no. should know that? Well, I suppose that I know it because, uh, you know, that's where my family was from. But, you know, still, if this guy wants to run the country, he's got to know where right. everything's happening. Right. It's in the news every day. Yeah. What is he doing? Doing backflips off his uh, diving board in his backyard with his nice swimming pool? Well, he's... he's Did you see that? Is that what he does? No, that's what I saw on television. Him doing? Yeah. He's very pro-marijuana. He's so, from, where is he from? Colorado? I don't know if he's from Colorado, but he's a libertarian. There's Massachusetts. The uh, vice president is Massachusetts, and the, I think he might be from Colorado. But I don't think but he's... Anyway, yeah. But anyway so, anyway, so he didn't know where Aleppo was. It would have been a good, uh, good thing uh, this time around to have, a, have another choice, huh? It's always a good time to have another choice, yeah. I think. But I always think that... Even with like Nader, it's it's the, it, you don't have a Ooh, choice. Nader, remember years ago there was Nader. Oh, you're dating yourself. Well, I know because it's I'm still I'm still yeah. angry about the whole thing. But the point was that you know even if you do vote for a third party, whether it's Nader or Perot, who wants to talk about the, you know big dating sucking myself, sound. It big just su you know big sucking sound. yeah, it's not a it's un it's it's unfortunate that we can't have more than two. Anyway, welcome to hi, welcome to the new episode of What's Up with Lepa. <laughs> no, so anyway, so so it's that. We're going to do the sign. Well, I want to do the sign. Right, you want to do the sign. Let's get back to what we were back doing. Back to we'll edit all that other stuff out. So, um, I, so, and, and so there was, I'm thinking, oh, I'm just, you know, I don't want to offend my neighbors because they're nice people. And I don't want to, because I don't want to get into a whole politics thing with people that I'm not, it doesn't make any sense to do with. You know what I'm saying? If, if, it, if it brings yeah. it up. So, so, but I'm, I'm but thinking. But I bet you if you put it up there, somebody else will put one up on your street. Well, we, maybe. well here's what's interesting. So anyway, so finally I realized. I might go by and take it down, but. Interesting you say that, George. 
Have you? Because that's you what you've been doing. You don't know the story. I've been taking down Trump. No, I haven't been. But here's what's interesting. So part of my thing was like, look, and me and my partner were like, we shouldn't be nervous to put up a super sign. Not, at, not at all. Correct. So not at all. because of that fear, and if I didn't we want have that. We got problems. And right, and I didn't want, and I don't want my, you know, I don't want to sort of send a message, even even like subconsciously to my stepkids, like there's a, you should be afraid of your beliefs, whatever they are. Right. So we're like, look, let's get a sign. So we went to went to went to you get Morristown. We got a sign. What? Did you buy them? Well, here's here's the other thing. So you go to Morristown. I go and I'm, hey, I want a sign. And here's two things did that broke me the wrong way. Did you go to the headquarters? The headquarters, right there, oh, okay. right across from the 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 Famish Rock. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so we go in, and I'm like, hey, I want a sign for Hillary. And she's like, okay, well, tell my friend Glenn Katz to go over there. And shut with, that place down. <laughs> He's across the street. Oh, with, with the at the. Yeah, he'll put a nice Trump sign in front. He. Of him. Uh, so I say I want a sign for, and she says, well, it's a five dollar donation. So, no, I'm sorry, a five dollar suggested donation. Okay. So my first thought was. Well, if I don't, if it's suggested, what if someone said I don't, I don't, I don't have, have the money, money or I don't want to do it, but I still, it's the only suggested? Well, you could ignore the suggestion, couldn't you? Yeah, I didn't. So you gave so, five bucks. Well, so then, then she said well, she, now was, gonna, now she said we have to, on the internet. We have to charge five dollars. Why? Okay. I didn't have to sign anything. Oh, okay. I don't care. I mean, but so we have to give the five. So she said we have to charge five dollars because the the guy who donated it wants his money back. And I thought, well, then that's not a donation. Wait a minute. You mean the guy that who donated the money the for the right wants his money back? You're paying him back. And I'm thinking, well, that's, that's not a odd. donation. That's a loan. That's odd. Which is fine. Again, I have Is no that problem. Is like that Clinton Foundation thing where they no. hire they no, hire the daughter for nine hundred thousand? You know, put her on the salary for nine hundred thousand. No, it was a guy. It was a local guy. Oh, okay. It was a local he guy. Just donated. Uh, yeah, exactly. So anyway, so I gave the five dollars. That's not the point. I just thought, like, don't, don't. As Judge Judy said, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Like, it's not a suggested donation. If I say it on money, you you're not going to be home during the day. <laughs> I love Judge Judy. It's another story. Um, so anyway, so I put the sign up. Okay. Right? Put it, boom. Yeah. Go. Go. Three days later. Gone. Gone. Wow. Now, again. Now, here's my thing. And he, no, so, seriously. Okay. Three days later. Three days later. Really? I got it on a Friday. It was gone Monday. Neighbor. Well, who, so, I don't like it. was I mean, my not neighbor. a lot of people drive down that street. It's not a busy street. Yeah. It's not a busy street. But my point was, so, okay, so then, so now I'm, now I'm sort of annoyed. You lost five bucks. You lost your sign. Five dollars, you know, five dollars goes a long way. That's right. You know, I can get a nice, I can get a roast beef sandwich at the Wicker Basket. Five dollars. A, a half a roast beef sandwich. They're maybe. very good, though. Okay. So anyway, so now so I'm now sort of you're distraught. Like ticked off. And now I'm like, well, now I see this was the reason. And again, now, and, and I'm not saying that Trump signs aren't stolen. People do it all the time. Yeah. I'm not saying it's like a... You, what I'm you saying don't is, see a lot of them out, do you? What? Of either side. I don't right. see any. I don't see. Really, I see a lot, lot more Trump. Well, but I drive. But, but, not, this is but the not as many. No, you don't see as many. But I also think. What do you think? You don't think that w people need to see that? Not, not, not in Mendo. that type. Of, yeah. I don't think in Mendo. What do you think in local elections? People need to name yeah, awareness. I think, yes. Now it's like everybody knows. Like, who cares if Kyle's voting for Clinton or you know George is voting for whoever? Correct. They don't really care. Well, or I think do they, they care. care. I think they care. I don't think they care enough. I, it, it's not going to change their vote. It's, and it's not going to change the election. Mendham is... Who, no one's going to drive yeah. by... Jersey's going Democrat. Right. No one's driving by uh, 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 my house and saying, Oh, Hillary's running. Maybe yeah. I'll vote for her. They either have decided or not yeah. to. So I think that's a part of it. Anyway. So then I'm like, so I'm distraught. I'm annoyed. I'm like, this stinks. Are we still doing the what's up with this? This is what's Mendham? up with the Mendham. This is in Mendham. So I this is it was the, what's up with Kyle. Well, I live in Mendham. Okay. Um... We could change it to "What's Up with Kyle." That was my first choice, but you 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 insisted. Oh, did I interrupt your thought, train of thought? So you, where are you? So anyway, so so now I'm distraught. I'm annoyed, and I think my, my, my partner posted something on 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 Facebook that it was taken, and she's you know saddened that this is you know we live in a town that somebody would go on our property and take it. She's not upset. Oh, she posted that on, on Facebook. Her. Oh, okay, fine. Here's the here, so again yeah, so then what happened then? What do you think happened? Back and forth. We're no all friends. A huge outpouring of people and men who she's not necessarily friends with, but knows and are friends on Facebook, but are friends with, saying that's horrible. That's I'm, I'm voting for Trump, but they shouldn't go on your property. It's five or six uh, people brought right up signs. Away. And then next thing you know, like two days later, we get a, a message like, "Look on your front lawn." Someone went and got a sign and put it on our lawn, right in front of our door now. But I, so so again, so my point is this: is that okay? Look, it's a great town, isn't it? It is. That was it. Really was. A, it was a warm feeling in that. It's a conservative town, and I knew it moving in. I'm fine with that. I understand that. I understand yeah. it's America. We have very people different... People are respectful. People are respectful, and I'm not as... There are more democratic 
leaning people than I thought. And my feeling is, and this is my, it's like, look, we should be able to not be afraid. Because I think that, that seemed to be the feeling of like, oh, I'm going to, so now six or seven other people have put them up. Oh, sort have. of saying like, look, they shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. They have on your street? Around, in, in, my, in my neighborhood, there's okay. one down the street. So maybe if they didn't like your sign, they can get their own sign. Absolutely. And again, this isn't a, this isn't a pro-Hillary, anti-Trump. This is no, just like, right. look, this is, this like, is the sign. You know, I wouldn't take the Trump was, sign. This is who I support. And the town. Do you have a bumper sticker? I don't. Well, that was, that was $10, right? No, I don't have a bumper sticker, and that's a selfish reason, because I thought about getting one. It's going to the because Clinton Foundation, that money? It's, 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 going, it's going to some guy who donated money. But here's why I didn't do so it. Like because your daughter, nine hundred thousand. I don't uh, mind. You know, I, I well, half a million for I mean, a speech. We, if we could go with, I mean, you know, because I don't think the Bushes. What are we going to get? What are I don't we think the Bushes ever gave their sons anything. Anything. No, from they them. got. They, they. So my thing was, they had work in I don't want to put a bumper sticker on it, right? Because, because if you someone, don't want yes, bumping you. And if someone steals my sign about five dollars. Somebody keys <clears> my car. Yeah, that's a mess. That's a whole other thing. So, so I. Yeah, I never thought of that. People actually would. Think about doing I that. never thought about that until because I used to have bumper stickers all the time yeah. in, in my other cars. Yeah. But again, I've always lived in more liberal leaning areas. This is my right. first time right. in a in a sort of a hotbed of conservatism, yeah. Yeah. and it's so it's it's a, it's a different. So are you frame. excited about this election? I'm excited for it to be over. Yeah. yeah it's first terrible. of all, it's the, the whole process is too. You know, England's two months. I, I, That's it. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Our, yeah. It has been going on. It's I been saw going them on for talking. two years. They've actually started, I saw on the news the other day, them talking about 2020. Yeah. Pence Hillary. Like, against, like, we haven't finished this one yet. It's yeah. too long of yeah. a process. Yeah. I, I just feel like it's, I have PTSD. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you're right, Kyle. I mean, the darn, uh, and not only that, but the media just keeps hitting you with the same clips over and over again. I, I can't. I don't even watch the news because yeah, I watch smart. only Mendham television news, yeah. which is this. Yeah. Uh, only because you, it's not news because they have a twenty-four hour cycle and they have to fit. You can't they have to put. You can't wait until the B show comes on next. <laughs> Welcome to the bees and uh, yeah. What else? In a football game. Yeah. But anyway, um, so, um, so so where are you going with this? So I'm going so, is that is that it's a conservative town and I respect that and I love that. But so it's sort of like look, people that aren't shouldn't feel afraid. Yeah. To be like, hey, I'm not, I'm not conservative. I am liberal, and and be able to say that without being afraid, because I think there are more people like me who are like, mm, I probably should shut up, just because. And I think that's that's unfair to the conservative people in this town to think that they're in a small-minded place that they would take it out on me personally. Yeah. And that was my own prejudice. Yeah. So it's like, look, I think uh, I I feel much less alone, which is a great feeling in this right. town. Like, oh, I'm not the only one here. Um, and so we should come out of the out of the, the democratic well, closet. Okay. Just to be, hey, here's who I am. That? I do feel it. How do you feel? You owe me sixty dollars for the. You've got. Uh, listen, I'm not talking about my issues at all earlier. But I know when I mentioned politics right in the beginning, I saw you get nervous. Okay. So I'm just because that's you know because and I and I didn't well, want to, know, this isn't a politics, political religion and know. this and this is not a I don't I actually have no idea where you stand politically and I don't care. You're my friend. And if you vote silly, then I respect and you're, that. And, and you're just, uh, and you're just say, you know, we, you hit me with like, this is what we're going to talk about today. I don't tell you what we're going to talk okay. about. You can do the same. Yeah. You could just I come you one were day. Talk about Halloween, Amanda. We could talk. What, what's what's Halloween? I get about six hundred people coming to my house. I will tell you this. Halloween. It's a great town for Halloween. Is that right? It really, it really is. I mean, I live, <coughs> I live actually. When I lived in Holland Park down yeah. in New Jersey, yeah. and then I lived in LA, I would get no trick or treaters. So I really yeah. thought it was not a thing anymore, like for kids, like kids down like when we did. Yeah. But now you move here, and people go out. It's great. Yeah. I mean, that you just you just see, maybe you'd see, you'd see in movies you see like when they go trick or treating, there's like hundreds of kids running around, yeah. and I would be like, that's not true. Yeah, that's not. But that's, that's really not. what it is. I mean, you it go is. down that road off of Dean. I'm trying to think. There's a couple roads that, or even uh, Drake. Yeah. Drake with people yeah. come like crazy. It's a zoo. It really is, and I like that. It's fun. Did you like Halloween growing up? I loved it. You did. Yeah, we went out. You know, we went out forever. Yeah. We didn't have to. Wor we didn't have no worries. Yeah. No worries. Um, I don't think there's I, worries here. There's no worries here. I mean, it's just uh, it's kind of crazy how uh, it's uh, well, you know, it's you know they're selling they're selling Halloween candy like before the uh, Labor Day weekend. Well, just so you know, I've already bought. Three bags of Halloween candy yeah. for Halloween that have not made it to Halloween. Jeez. So, and that's why they do it. I, I know yeah, it's exactly that's why the camera is up a little higher because I've had my fill of Whoppers. Because oh you buy God. it, 
And then you're like, and I finally said to my partner, I said, don't buy it don't until buy anything 29. Else. Because we're going to eat it. And my kids don't eat. They're not sweet. Okay. They don't, right. I mean, they'll, they'll, yeah, they're going to have some, but they're going to get, get dressed up, right? Oh, they love out. it. They're oh, welcome. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what did you, your, 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 what? your kids used to go out, right? Yeah, we went out. Did you go just in Drakewood? Where'd yeah, you go to places? That's all we had to do. We had, you know, just go out to the places there. Um, and uh, <clears throat> it's a great place. It has, you know, it has some sidewalks and, um, and Is all, it dark? All, all, yeah, it's dark. There's no lights, you know, just uh, house lights. And, uh, you know, it, it became a thing. What, like you know, year after year, more and more people, and now they got to block the road off to get in. And they got to put do up they? signs. Absolutely. What do you mean? And there's too much traffic, and the kids. So you walking can't on the drive street. into Drakeway. <clears throat> you can't drive in after a certain hour. So, if I want to take my kids strict to your house. Yeah, you got to. I would have by. to park. You park outside. Uh, outside. Like on Tempe Way. Yeah. And you walk in. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know I'm that. I'm pretty sure how that's uh, that's how it was. I mean, because we. We've left there, you know, like at 7.30, and, you know, the cars that have gotten in, right? you know, they can't park on one side of the road. I mean, there's masses of people just walking up and down the road. I didn't know the that. The fire department shows up, they put a floodlight on. Really? In a certain area, yeah. And now they have a curfew, you got to be out of there by 9. See, why? Well, because the kids would just hang out there. But that's, what do you mean, like they would hang older out. kids? Yeah, like, just, what do you yeah mean, like, high school kids. They would hang drinking out. Drinking at the pub? No, the they hanging out. Big ruffians? They were just hanging out. Hoodlums? They were go, just, to, go to the local, they were just, local they soda were just, shop? They were just hanging out. So, but what's wrong with that? It's just noisy. Oh, uh, get them out. That's a get them out. out. Get them out. Got to get to bed. George is older. Out. Yeah, we have we have trick-or-treaters until like 10 or 11 o'clock. You do? Yeah. A lot of kids coming in just their jeans and a shirt at that point. Yeah, right. They like just 16. want candy. You know, we do. We because we, 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 we leave it outside? We do, and then we come back, and, and I think one kid and his gone. Yeah. Do you deck? Did you decorate your house for Halloween? No. You never decorated. You mean no? We put. No, it wasn't a big thing back then. We go the whole thing. We have a graveyard. We have a skeleton. We get a oh, bond you machine. Do. I have right asked. Now. I asked if you did. No. Yeah. No, we never. Did you ever did? Yeah, no. we have a whole thing. We no. got a fog machine. Well, you're in the business. A business of what? Scary kids. You're, in the, you're, in the business. you're a filmmaker. But I'm not making a movie about no, it. I know, but like you know, you like. I do. The, I like the theatrical props, things. The props. I do. But it's a whole thing. It's a part so of the anyway, season. So anyway, it's a good time in Mendham. See, it's now... Great. It's a great time. I'm, exci I'm excited about it. So I, we got, I go we got Halloween. We got the election. The election. We got stealing signs. We got stealing signs. What else we got coming up? Uh, we got Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll probably do another one for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Which I've always hated. Uh, I hate Thanksgiving. Listen, Is that an American? Yeah. It's because no, it's not it's a stressful. real holiday. It's, it's, it's not even a, even when I was a kid when I didn't realize it like this is with the family drama. It's not a real holiday. Okay. There's nothing for a kid. Oh. Kids don't love turkey. But they they don't. You know, the kids don't love like. But you know, you got homecoming, you got football. No, home. I mean younger. Even younger than that. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're growing up, because to me it was like it, it's like Christmas is right around the corner. Yeah. And you're excited about. So it's that. more of an adult holiday. I think so. Okay. But not like an well, adult we can holiday. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later. You don't want to talk about it? You're, you're... Nah, it's okay. You don't have to talk about it. Did it do, are you I love right? Halloween. I mean, Thanks, I know. I, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. It's funny. We talked about Trump. I love, but I love cooking. Didn't upset I like you eating. You know, I mentioned you, know, I don't you, like spend, you spend all day cooking, you eat in 15 minutes. But then you have it for a week. Yeah. It's great. Do you like turkey? Yeah. Now, do you have a whole family come? Uh, no. No, just, just, just the, you and the uh, wife? Yeah, just the wife, the kids. Well, the kids ever, My son, who's ever around, maybe my uncle. Yeah. You know? So you did you a big big spread for the four of you? A big big. The turkey. Turkey. You know, sides. Cranberry sauce. Sides. Mashed potatoes. Stuffing. Sweet potatoes. Stuffing. Apple pie. Uh, maybe. Pumpkin pie. Yeah. You know the pie guy. Yeah, I like pie. I got. Can we can we I talk about okay? So now let me ask you this: Why is why? there a better way to get into Alstead's? You go. You can't go that road during this year. During know. this time, it's crazy. It is amazing. It's amazing. It, it, like, the weather's been great, too. They, they must be raking it in. It's great. Have you ever gone? Yeah. Like, at during that? Long, no, a long time ago. No, I don't Before think Before it was a big deal. I've ever, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been there around this time of year. I've never been there now. I go up to Pennsylvania. This, I'm going this weekend, actually, up to a place in Pennsylvania with my parents. Okay. But it's huge. Yeah, but the, thing, the people at Mendham want to hear about that? Uh, it's, it's not that far. It's only an hour away. 
Oh, okay, so you got the same thing, maze. No, no, you got, you've got. You know, I thought you, th I thought you we were gonna, I thought we were gonna do that film down at the maze. I thought about that. Uh, we still could do that because they have the maze through Thanksgiving. Um, but there's an issue. There's a issue. There's technical issues like liability. What no, liability? One, I don't think we'll ever get out. Okay, that's that might be a problem. Well, so the, yeah. I, I, the whole point was like, we'll just do the show yeah. until we make it out. Yeah. So, Which but, could fill up our programming for about four days, because we yeah. can just wander at night. Yeah. But the other thing is, uh, just a shaky camera with the cameraman. Okay. I got one guy with a steady cam, but right. only one. Right. But anyway. Um, so, so, wait, so what else? So, so, the, so, so the, place, the place in Pennsylvania has two corn mazes, an adult one and a kid's one. Really? Yeah. Not done. They got a whole big petting zoo. They got a, a, a bunny village. Really? Really, really cute. Real bunnies? With real bunnies, and they like houses, and they can go into different tent, like different wow. underneath the ground. Wow. They got, uh, obviously, you know, you got the petting zoo, you got that. You got a, a, a whole hay ride, you go, you get the pumpkins. But then they have, um, uh, what else they got? They got pumpkin cannons and apple cannons. Have you seen those? No. They're these... They actually load them up and blast them? Oh, yeah, and they're huge. And you buy, like, for like $5, you get like 20 apples or like five pumpkins and they have targets out in the, out in this big field oh my gosh. so you got these targets so they sit there and you got the headphones on and they they load it for you and the kids line it up and they shoot and they hit like Are you kidding? no there's like four cannons they got that they got uh pig races pennsylvania pig races um there's something else they got they got a bunch of stuff so not that i'm not saying all stages are great and they have ample dr parking yeah because all stage you got to take a shuttle yeah i can't do anything with a shuttle they won't let you on a shuttle? No, they won't let me on. I'm banned. Okay. No, I just can't. I, the whole idea of getting a shuttle. Yeah, and, uh, it kind of takes the fun out of it. it just, I, yeah. Especially when you're done. You just want to go to your car. Yeah. It's like if you go to Disneyland or Disney World. Well, there's take a shuttle down on 202. There's right, uh, what is it? Whiteman's? 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 Whiteman's Farm. Whiteman's? Right across from, uh, you know, 202. I mean, yeah. That place is mob, too. That is mob. They got a they got And they, they have a maze, really. Yeah, but the, I think, yeah, maybe you're right. And where's the thing? There's and another maze the parks. I think you can pick your own apples here. We got an apple orchard right here. And I don't like pick my own apples. It's like I don't like going to fondue. But they place. have lost. Because the I'm doing fondue. the cooking. Fondue. Remember fondue? But they still that have was, a fondue place I know. in uh, Route 10. Like 40 years ago, I thought it was the greatest. It was thing. the biggest thing. Remember, everyone yeah, had the I mean, thing, you bring, and you have little colors. Cook your own meat. But see, I don't want to pay forty dollars to go to a restaurant to cook my own food. Yeah, I agree. So, I'm Speaking glad. Speaking of good food, I, you know, I went down to the Minuteman. Uh, the new Minuteman? Because it's under new... Under new yeah, oh, yeah. The is, new it, is it better? Yeah. I mean, it's not terrific. that it wasn't the guy, good. Uh, the, the, the chef there won an award, uh, won a contest, a rib contest. Did you get the ribs? And I got the ribs. They were awesome. I haven't had good ribs in years. You go down Should there. Should I go there? You're, you're going to have good ribs. Really? Yeah. Is it clean? Yeah. The place is clean? Yeah, it's fine. That went years ago. It, it, it just seemed a little... It was, inter that's, it was the old owners. So it's gotten... Yeah, there's been four owners, I guess, in the last, uh, you know, last ten years. But anyway, it's, I'm, you know, it was great. It was great. All right. Hey, we, got a lot of, we got a lot of good rest in, restaurants in Memphis. I, do th I, think, I think you're going to run for something. You, every time well, you come I'm, out here, you talk about... Well, you know, you've got to give them their due. We don't have... We have a few good restaurants, but we only have a few restaurants. Yeah, well... What do we have, we three? We've got Sammy's. Sammy's. We got uh, Dante's. Dante's. I love their pizza. By Piatinas. Way. Have you been? Piatinas. Yeah. I've been there a couple times. I like the Dante's. Pizza. Been my been son there. worked there. Piatinas. Nice place. Uh, then we got the coffee shop. Got the Japanese Chinese. Got the place. Japanese Chinese. We I don't want to be offensive. Basket. I can't say it. And yeah. there's the other. Uh, so we're just a few. Yeah. I wish they would deliver somewhere. When Can you get delivery in Drakewood from Morristown or no? Is it I too mean, still you could too far? Get somebody to drive it out there. We can't get anyone to by me. That'd be a good business, huh? I don't think it's driving too far away. Like driving that twenty dollar thing, getting a ten dollar tip. I think yeah, you'd have to charge. It's yeah. too far. Yeah, it's too far. So anyway, so so what? Have we exhausted the, the viewers? <laughs> yeah, they're bored. <laughs> they turned it off a long time ago. All right, so um, they're watching. Uh, what are they watching? <laughs> well, coming up next is uh, local film. For, uh, local films. Who, who, you know. So anyway, so... Listen, what we want to do is we want to ask the people uh, at home, um, if you have any interest in, uh, in helping uh, Mendham TV out, uh, you can go and email us at info at mendhamtv.org. Uh, we'd love to have... Uh, we're looking for volunteers. We can teach you how to film. Uh, you can go to events, help us film. We're doing some library events now. Um, and um, it would be great. What else? 
That's it. Or if you want to do your own show. Yeah. Like, what's up with the idiot Kyle? Yeah. You could just yeah. do your what show. We'll put it up. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, like, a rebuttal, you mean? <laughs> like, Count, count, counterpoint. Point, counterpoint. We could do that. Those Both of those guys are dead, I think. Oh, they got to be. But anyway, that was good stuff. Um, anyway. Uh, so anyway, so, so be sure to like us on Facebook. Yep. Um, please like us on Facebook. Yep. Also, visit our new YouTube page. You can see yep. m most of our stuff on YouTube. We'll be putting all of it up eventually. Uh, Mendem TV on YouTube. Uh, yep, okay. Like us on there. Like their videos. Yep. Um, and to load that subscribe. Stuff yep, subscribe. And uh, in about another month, you're going to be getting uh, an envelope in the mail. Uh, well, well, it's about another month. No, I understand. It's, but this will probably be running to 2020. <laughs> So okay, so like every month they're gonna get something. So right every now. month we're gonna get something. So yeah. Right. So if you get something, just in general, just be general. If you get something yeah, from listen, Mendem TV, we need support. Uh, um, we're, we're all viewer yeah. based. Viewer based, yeah. A lot of budget cuts, so it's really sort of based on um, us, as you can tell by the yeah, the background, the background yeah. and the uh, the. By the way, where high. are we? Where are we speaking from today, Kyle? You know, that's what we should do. We should do a contest. Yeah. Okay. We, so we have a green screen, and so we don't know what's behind us. We can put something on there. So I did an interview with the superintendent of Borough, of Borough Schools, and they had this uh, Hilltop School there. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to be behind us now. Uh, probably something festive. My you Hillary gonna, sign. You're going to put Hilltop School I'll put my school Hillary sign. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do Hillary sign. Uh, Hilltop. Well, maybe we should. Hillary sign, huh? Maybe we should. Maybe you get a shot of uh, the turning leaves we can put up nice. behind us. Nice. So anyway, something's behind us now. We don't know. But if you have recommendations of what we could put on there, in fact, we should do a drawing. We could put a picture of them. Just a picture of your grandkids. They're not going to do that. Just behind us. Are you kidding me? They're already flipping the station. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want... Gonna, there's a baseball game on. Listen, you wouldn't want mess around. Mess around of it. It's yeah. too late. You wouldn't want your grandkids behind us while we talk? You don't have any grandkids. But if you did... Jesus. I'm saying, wouldn't that be... Oh, cute? you mean, you mean you, some, somebody... Somebody could submit their picture and we'll put it behind them. Not for this show, but for not future shows. Anything they want. That's 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 acceptable. That's a possibility, yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, that'd be great. The whole time we could have you know a couple kids staring at us. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like Halloween all over again. We should have a game show too. I do want a game. I, we're gonna have to do a game show. I want to do. I want to do a game show. No, Men and Feud. Yes, I want to do Men versus. No, no, the borough against the township. Oh. And we do things like. What? Uh, Okay, quick. Uh, what's a neighbor to the township? And they're like, uh, I don't know what a neighbor is. Jesus, you're bad. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That kind of thing. All right, the top three answers are exactly. So, so, and we'll see who's the smarter, borough or township. Because even though the last episode George denied that there was any kind of animosity, not animosity, tension. tension. I have people, people come up to me in kings and say, "Oh my God, I'm so glad you talked about it. I don't know what the deal is." And then they, te they tell me about, like, they'll say, like, it's a shame, it's a shame. Yeah. But then they'll say to me, but you know how those township people are. So they're, they're reinforcing it. So I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, it's a shame or is it? You're making all this up. You know? Why would I make that up? Because what, you're what making it up. You're stirring it up. What would I gain from it? You're going to gain nothing from it. Is there any chance the two, the two towns people will ever mesh? people that just like us on Facebook. They don't like, like us. Is there any chance they'll ever become one thing? Doubt it. No? Because Christy was pushing that for a while, wasn't he? No. Yes, he was. He did. There was a thing on the on the YouTube, on the interwebs, where he was talking uh, at some thing. On the interwebs, where he was saying because look, because, and it makes some sense because we have two police, police people, we have two well, fire they departments. Did have, they had a meeting the other night uh, regarding the police force. And did you record that for the show? I couldn't make it. We <laughs> so need more volunteers. We do need more volunteers. Um, all right, so that's it. So yeah, like us on Facebook. Uh, go to our YouTube page. Uh, help us out. There's information right here. I'm putting up right now below me. It has the uh, email address. Yeah. Go to that, uh, send us an email, uh, your thoughts, your comments, your ideas for shows. If you want to do something, if you want to be a part of it, um, we could always use the help and uh, have a great Halloween. Did you know Kyle talked mostly the whole time? I, I got news for you. You talked No, plenty. no, no, no. I got to tell you, you count those words. You talked more than, way more than me. But what is that generally? Is this the, what's up with the Mendham's, George? It's George and Kyle. If you watch the credits, they're both in there. Even though you've never seen my cut. So anyway, so yeah, so uh, next week, next time George is going to come up with a topic, oh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be, oh, yeah. it'll be, it'll be, it'll boring. be, uh, it'll be boring. you know, walks, nature walks yeah, nature in walks the Mendham area. Yeah, hiking, yeah. I, you like the hiking. Golf areas around the Mendham area? I've never golfed since I was 17. It's the last time that's, I golfed. Uh, that's what you want to do. Uh, I don't How about I, softball in Mendham? I do, we, we, we do play softball. We could talk about softball. It's over 30. Over 35. I think they lowered it they because lowered it. we're all dying off. 
You mean I was dying out? You you don't play anymore. I don't play anymore. Um, you don't want to get killed out there. We use baby balls now. We use these little yeah soft balls. Soft um, softs. So anyway, so all right, sounds good. That's it. We yeah, done. That's it. I think. Thanks for watching another yeah. episode of What's Up with the Mendels. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Are you gonna have the coffee? I'll put it down. You can have it. Do you want that in your pocket? Last time no. you got all upset. It's dorky. You know, I came in there and nice this morning design. I got my free coffee because I... Oh, you had the final? I, yeah, I got the final punch. Did I say I'm George? Yeah. Turn your, your dinger off because you've got a lot of text. The poor guy behind me, you know, he never knew that there were cards. So I told him, <laughs> get a card. Did I say I'm George? No, I'm George. So I said, look here, take a card, get a punch.